So this is Mike Klinowski, uh, Secretary of the USWRA, and I'm joined here by Sid Christian. He's our current treasurer, and he's running for re-election this year. And um, every every year we have elections for three positions, and uh, Sid's is one of those. And we wanted to make sure that everyone knows who's running, um, what what goes on behind the scenes, and uh, why Sid is a great candidate. We're going to have um, other folks on here for different positions. Uh, Daniel Curtis from uh, for the second vice president, and then we'll have two candidates for commissioner. So we're looking forward to uh, interviewing all those folks. And Sid, it's great to have you with us tonight. Um, how about you tell us a little bit of how you got started in uh, wheelchair rugby and what your history of the sport is? Well, thank you, Mike. It's 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 a privilege to talk to you today. And and um, man, I, I love uh, wheelchair rugby. I got started in kind of a fluke. I needed to get in shape. Was looking for a gym, and I thought Lakeshore Foundation, which is where I play and and uh, the gym I'm part of, uh, the club I'm part of. It took um, it's about 30, 40 minutes away, and I really didn't think I wanted to make that drive regularly. And but things worked out. I got in this study. Um, was doing a hand cycle study, started that mm. and A led to B. And before you know it, I, I had talked to uh, a couple of teammates that are my teammates now. I didn't know who they were then. And uh, they were telling me about rugby and I really wasn't sure I could do it. But um, long story short, uh, the people at Lakeshore, the staff, the, the team, the coaches, uh, Man, they, they all just uh, encouraged me and kept me going. And uh, I started playing and um, with such great teammates and a great organization uh, and being patient with me. Uh, this will start my fifth season coming up. Of course, we had the suspended season last year. So I've, this will be my fourth season to play. And, um, and I'm pumped about it. I, I love it. I enjoy it. I've missed it. And I'm ready to get started back. Awesome. Thanks, Sid. So um, question for you. Uh, what uh, draws you to the role of treasurer and tell me more about what motivates you? Well, I, um, I've been an accountant when I got, when I got out, of, uh, out of rehabilitation and started to school, got a degree in accounting. I've, I've been in accounting now for a little over 32 years. And um, I have a, a judge, former coach uh, at Lakeshore and, and a referee in the USWRA, um, encouraged me to uh, contact um, uh, the leadership team to let them know that I was available if they needed someone uh, because the previous uh, person was, uh, was resigning. And um, that was, uh, this will be my, um, I've completed three years of serving in the capacity, completed the uh, half term of the previous treasurer and then a full term uh, myself. And so, um, it's been three years and it's, uh, no, it's been good. I've, I've been, like I said, I've been accountant for 32 years. So it's, it's what I do. So I, I think that, um, helps me in, in what I provide to the USWRA. Cool. Cool. Um, what do you think are the critical issues that face the league and how do you think that we should address them? Well, I, I realize I'm a geezer, Mike. I, I started playing <laughs> rugby. I started playing rugby at, at 54 and, wow. and man, like I said, I've, been, I've enjoyed every minute of it, but the future of our league, I believe is, is getting uh, young people who, uh, who have had injuries of whatever uh, kind that we can publicize and, and make known just exactly what's available it, really all adaptive sports, but especially and particularly rugby, I really love and I, and I think it provides such an opportunity um, that to me is, is I think getting a younger, um, players involved and, um, you know, I, it's great for people like me. I mean, I love it, but it's a sport that you can play, uh, for a very long time. And, um, it, it's, it's great to be a part of a team and there, there are a lot of benefits, uh, from rugby, but I think we're just, uh, getting the sport a little bit younger and, and there are challenges and, you know, I wish we didn't even have to have players. I would love to wake up one day and there's nobody looking for a team who's had some sort of injury. But uh, the truth is there's a lot of people out there and they're like me 
uh, at one point, I didn't know rugby existed. I didn't know basketball existed. I know that's hard for some people to believe, but um, when my injury occurred years ago, none of that existed. And so uh, I'm grateful to the USWRA and all those who have come before me and all those who've worked hard in every adaptive sport. Um, uh, but getting it younger, I think we've got to find a way to get younger people involved. Very cool. Very cool. Um, so you know that uh, the USWRA has um, has a relationship with USA Wheelchair Rugby and the Lakeshore Foundation. Um, we've been working over the last several years to improve that relationship. Do you have any ideas of what we could do better to collaborate with those folks so that we 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 do our sport justice? Well, I think it's important in all of those entities, uh, you know, as a uh, there's a synergistic effect that if we can all work together, one, like I just mentioned, the problem of getting younger people involved, all of these organizations, I think we have the resources working together that we can we can accomplish the goal of getting younger people involved and provide that to them. I, I, I haven't been doing this that long, but I'm continuing to grow in my knowledge of the IWRF and, and the USA team and, and how all that works together. And, and being a part of Lakeshore provides me the, the benefit of, of seeing some of that and, and being around the USA team from time to time and, and those that work with the team. And I, I think those collaborations are extremely important. And we've got to find a way. I, I don't have answers at this point, but I know the executive committee and other leaders within the USWRA, I know that's a, uh, a target, a goal that, that we need to work to improve that and uh, standardization and other things that will, will help us uh, as a collective from all of the entities working with adaptive sports. Um, I think working together is going to help us to accomplish a lot, but uh, I, I wish I did have a lot of answers. I got a lot of questions and I'm, I'm working, I think I'm working with a team of people that, that will come up with the answers and we're working toward that. Cool. So um, you also know that it, this is, this is one of those uh, relationships we we've also been trying to work on uh, as, as the executive committee working with the IWRF. Um, what do you see as the future of our relationship with the international governing body and how do we improve our relationship with them? I think the communication is critical and, and the more we work toward, um, you know, a, a common, uh, set of rules and procedures. And I know there's a lot of challenges to uh, working some of the differences out, but I think uh, standardization and, and making things uh, level across the board, uh, both with classifying and, and in cooperating with international events and a lot of different things. I think those are things we have to work toward and we are working toward that. I've seen that and, and I think it's going to continue and, and produce more and more fruit. Yeah. Um, so here's the toughest question of the night. If you had one thing to get for our league, if there's one thing we want to work on, focus on um, in the next five years, what would be a home run for you? Home run for me, because the sport has meant so much to me and I've gotten so much out of the sport, both at physical benefits and then the benefits of, of being a teammate and getting to know all the amazing people that are involved with USWRA. Um, seeing that spread out, I don't know what the statistics are I, for how far the average uh, spinal cord injury or amputee has to go to find a team. The home run for me would be that there's at least two or three teams within um, – driving distance of every major city yeah that that to me would be because i know the benefit of it and i know how amazing it is and how much it can help and what people get out of it uh and what they give i think uswra and our athletes and everything that we do have so much to offer to the communities that we live in and but to me spreading and making available um uswra would, would be a home if we could do that that would be number one Fantastic. 
Well, Sid, I appreciate your time. I know that you're running unopposed, but I I thank you for, you know, spelling out uh, a little bit more about what you do and what you'd like to do with the league. Uh, transparency is key, and you know, just letting people know that there are good folks behind the scenes working on things, mm -hmm. and you're one of those folks, Sid. So thank you for your your time and your effort, uh, especially over these last three years and uh i hope you have a wonderful night man thank you mike thank you for all you do and the rest of the executive committee and everybody working with the uswra i look forward to seeing you guys this coming saturday very cool we'll see you then said uh,